A really useful tool at your arsenal is the cut tool. Now, this is very different from the scale tool in the, in the brush settings. So let's experiment with what this tool does. All right, so this tool is accessed with this pair of scissors right here. So if you act, click on this and then you click in your scene, okay, uh, there we go. Actually, I only have one hair selected, so let me get out of component mode and go back in. Okay, and I go in here and try to cut my hairs. You notice how it just cuts that right off? Now, this is very, very different than the brush tools cut. So let me go in here and demonstrate that on this one curve right here. Okay, so let me open up my brush settings here. And I'm just going to put a little bend in it. Okay, so hopefully you can clearly see this hair. And when I go over here and I scale this hair and I make it smaller, notice how it keeps that, that curvature in that hair. Okay, so no matter if I make it bigger or smaller, it tries to keep the same shape. Now watch what happens when I hit this with the scissors. So when I use the cut tool, it literally cuts it right off. And that's really the main difference here. Now, this is a very powerful tool because we can go right in and let me deselect that hair go back into component mode and cut. I can use this to really get a good overall shape to my haircut very quickly without actually having to go in and scale and do all that because I could always go back and scale this. Right? There's a little one there I want trimmed off. Now just for your own reference kind of FYI this does not change when you cut these guide hairs that doesn't change the vertex count of these individual curves so that's something to keep in mind that uh, if you cut a hair down you're still gonna have the same vertex count okay but this is a quick and easy way to work with hairs that you want to trim down you can easily do that with this cut tool in the next lesson we're gonna take a look at guide selection modes